just got to Bali. What the heck was that? There's like some creepy crawlies in here. Um, just got here. I am excited to shower and change and go walk around the streets, get some food. But this is my place. There's a tub there, bathroom and shower in there, my bed. I will give you a full tour later, but where? Here's the pool. Oopsie. Here's the pool. There's rice fields out there. I figured I would show you guys now before I start setting up my stuff, but I just wanted to let you know that this is $62 a night, which is on the higher side of a um, villa in this area, but it is super nice, so. I guess it gets dark early here. I'm walking the streets of Changu back to my Airbnb after an amazing dinner, vegan dinner. Hey guys, so, so it's 5.18 and I just meditated and now I'm going to write for a while probably at least half an hour I haven't written at all I wasn't able to write on the plane or work at all on the plane as I was anticipating I would be able to so <clears throat> now is the time to get caught up I'm done writing and now I'm about to work on this meditation course that I am beginner meditation course that I'm currently creating and then I'm going to film a couple videos not this video obviously then I'm gonna go to a climbing gym Please be, leave me, we're so needy. 
is so, so hot here. Oh my God. The best kombucha I've ever had. It's raspberry kombucha. So good. guys so I am looking through some footage that I've taken over the past few days some photos and then I just started to think about what my experience has been here in Bali so far first thing there's so much more traffic than I thought there would be here I thought Changu was a little bit more um, out of the city and yet I know it's not the city like Seminyak or Kuda, but it is very busy here. Second being, I'm left-handed and I went to go rent a scooter and <clears throat> it was difficult to make the turns because the <clears throat> my hand just isn't very used to being so subtle with my left with my right hand. So I kind of drove it into a ditch <laughs> while people were watching me. <laughs> Another thing is that the food is a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be. I know it still is cheap, but you know, I'm pretty pretty easily spending like $20 a day on food, which is not anything bad i'm not trying to complain but i was expecting it to be slightly cheaper from just the research that i had done prior to coming the bouldering and climbing gym is awesome but it is outside it gets very hot here and so you're gonna sweat a lot um, there's no fans in there just the you know hand holds and the various roots, the mats and some gym equipment, but it's all open to the outside. The Wi-Fi here in my villa is actually not good. It works late at night and early in the morning and throughout the day it basically doesn't work at all. So that's kind of a, a downer as I was really hoping for some reliable internet while I was here. Lastly, the Grab app which is awesome. It allows you to get a, a taxi or a, uh, like a scooter taxi, also delivers food. And I just got my dinner delivered through Grab. So I ordered from a vegan restaurant. They picked it up and then they delivered it right to my location um, with a service fee of like, 33 cents I tipped them more but just to give you a 30 33 cents US of course one more thing the clothing here is pretty expensive I'm not in a you know non-tourist area so they're obviously gonna be more expensive but um, I purchased a dress for someone and it was like $30 so that's a lot of money at home I don't even spend that much on Clothing. Generally, I try to keep below $20, $15 on my clothing spends, but that's it. So that's all my thoughts so far. I've been here for, gosh, it's only been three and a half days. What? No, it hasn't. It's been, well, it's almost been four days. That's crazy because I feel like I've been here forever already. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Adios.